Okay, so stop using SketchUp to draw kitchen cabinets and built-ins. I'm going to show you how to use cabinetplans.io to do the same thing and get a parts list and cut sheets. So we're gonna do a this set of cabinets here. So this is um, my butler's pantry in our house, right? We don't have a butler, but we do have a butler's pantry and we keep our whiskeys in here and all that stuff. So there's some blue spot, uh, some logic, it's good stuff, right? A little espresso machine. So anyway, uh, these are three cabinets, um, you know, inset. These cabinets are built by a company called Showplace. It's a great cabinet company. Uh, I'm very happy with them. They're inset. They've got a little bead in the face frame. And so what I would normally do, and I have a video on this, is, you know, you could watch, there's a, I don't know, a 30 minute long video on YouTube where I walk you through how to draw a um, cabinet in 3D and show all the features, really just to kind of get the same, this look here so you can see what it's going to look like when it's done, whether you're doing that for your spouse or, you know, for a client or something like that. And SketchUp's great. It's free. Um, it, it just takes a while. And you'll see, and this video has like 60,000 views on it or something. Um, it's a fairly high demand thing. Um, and there's loads of videos on how to build a cabinet, but I wanted to show you how to, how to do it uh, in a little easier way than that. So it's going to be much, much faster. So we're going to start with a new cabinet project here. I'm going to call this Butler's Pantry. Okay, we're going to start this project. I'm going to choose a project setting. So uh, you could use one of the default settings, but since I want to emulate what I have in that Butler's Pantry and save time, I already built a, a um, project setting called Showplace Inset Face Frame, and it's in inches. Uh, and you can see that in the project settings, but I'm just going to go start with that. So that allows me to build these cabinets considerably faster. All right, so we're going to do the bottom left cabinet here. I'll show you how quick this is. So this will be this cabinet here. It's one door, one drawer. And so I'm going to select from my cabinet types, kitchen base cabinet, and it is this guy here, one door, one drawer. All right, so now with these project settings pre-configured, if I click here, you can see what all of this looks like. Okay, everything is already configured to match that. All I got to do is put in my width, all right? So we're going to go with 24 inches, and I'm going to hit save, and it's going to build that cabinet. All right, so give that a second. And there's my parts list already. Okay, so now let's go add another one of those cabinets. We're going to say bottom right, and I'm going to do the same thing. One drawer, one drawer, also 24 inches. Save cabinet. Okay, so our base cabinets are done. We have something to draw from, too. So now let's do our upper cabinets. So this will be, we'll do upper left. Okay, this is going to be a stacked cabinet, but it's a kitchen wall cabinet, and it's gonna be stacked with one door over one drawer like this. Okay, so this will have to specify a little more, but this is also 24 inches wide. In this particular cabinet, it's 48 inches high, and it has a depth of about 14 inches because it's inset. All right, the only thing I think I have to change here is um, the door height isn't going to be 20 for these uppers. It's 31.5. That's it. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. And then we're going to do that again. While that builds the parts, we can work. Don't need, we don't need those bottom, bottom right. I'm sorry. It's upper right. I'm an idiot. Upper right. All right. It's so upper right. It's going to be this. This I need to add a duplicate button so we can skip this part if you have duplicate cabinets. But for now, just bear with me. Cabinet also going to be 48 inches and depth is 14. Uh, we're going to set all this to also uh, our door height is 31.5. That is a driving dimension for the rest of the cabinet. The upper cabinet, uh, the upper door is automatically set from whatever is left over there between the height and that lower door height. Okay, so we have one more cabinet to build. While that does its thing in the background, we're going to add uh, the upper middle. Okay. All right. So upper middle is going to be another kitchen wall cabinet. It's going to just be two doors, right? And again, the same thing. It's going to be 24 inches wide. The height on this one is 36 inches high. It's a little uh, shorter, and the depth will also be 14 inches. Now, the, I don't need to change the door setting on this one because it's a, it's a driven dimension in this time. All right, so that's that. So these parts are building in the background. Um, in the meantime, I'm basically done here in terms of setting up my cabinets. I'm gonna have a complete parts list once these are done. I can, excuse me, generate my project cut sheets right from here. Um, 
and I'm going to go click here. This is the 2D drawing section. So we're going to take this project and from these cabinets, we are going to get a nice 2D design. So a couple things, I'm going to set my wall dimensions. So this is, we have nine foot ceilings. So I'm going to put 108 inches there. All right, I'm going to, we're going to just go center for now. Um, it doesn't really matter in this case, but actually the width of the walls are 72 inches. So let's do that. Okay. So now we have something that's nine feet tall, 72 inches. So let's start with our base cabinets. We're going to do uh, one of these and then we'll add one of those. Okay. So, you know, you notice from this picture, I've got a, like a little base uh, fridge there. How do we do that? What we'll, we'll do is we'll just go and click here and we'll add a spacer. So notice that as I added these two cabinets that we put in the project, they disappear from the available. So as we use them, um, they're gone. So add spacer, we're gonna add a 24 inch spacer. I'm gonna click the cover with countertop if we do have a countertop. Um, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna push it to the end. That spacer is over here. Now but we're just gonna click this little arrow button here to move it to the middle. All right, so let's add that countertop. We're gonna click here, show countertop. Standard inch and a half countertop is fine. All right, so now we have our countertop. Let's add our upper cabinets. We're gonna do the stacked one door, stack two doors, stack one door. Holy crap. All right, so all we gotta do now is add uh, some trim. We'll give it say three inches and some cram molding. All right, and we're pretty much done. So there's our little, um, we could probably lower this so you can see the whole crown because I think two to three inches might be too high. We can adjust that, right? There you go. Okay, so we're pretty much done. It took us six minutes to draw one, two, three, four, five cabinets uh, with a spacer for the undermount fridge and a countertop. And this is fine. So I can show this to a client. I could give this to the shop to your the installer to show them the layout. Um, so yeah, and what we can do here is we can save this, okay? And then, yeah, it's still there. I can go ahead and add another wall if I wanted to. Uh, like if I wanted, if I had more than that one cabinet, I could uh, just, you know, add another. Um, what else could I do? I could also download this. If I click download, it's gonna, it's gonna download a PNG drawing or a, it's gonna draw, uh, download an image file that I can then email somebody. Um, and so, you know, this cabinet program is fairly new. It's inexpensive, it's easy to use, but it's designed for carpenters in, in uh, small shops and DIYers and all that sort of stuff. So you get basically a, so it's 2D, it's not 3D, obviously. We're gonna be adding 3D later in the year. And I'm also gonna be adding hardware. Um, but yeah, it, same thing. If we wanted to do this with, um, you know, a, a five piece drawer front, we could change that. If we wanted to make these doors overlay, that would show. Um, but that's it. So I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this was instead of watching it, you know, a 30, 40 minute video on how to build cabinets um, in, in SketchUp. You can just use this because it's done easier. So have a great day.